Nia Brandenburg. I have a bachelor's in professional English, a master's in educational leadership, and over five years experience teaching middle school language arts. In this video today, I'm going to show you teaching about mood and tone in poetry for fifth graders. Now the mood and tone happens to be the attitude or the emotions or the feelings that the speaker or the poet actually places in the poem. And you can do this by using certain words to create the mood and the tone. The first thing I suggest is that you create a feelings chart, basically highlighting some of the most commonly used feelings or felt um, feelings that we have. For example, happy. Ask your students to explain some situations where they felt happy. And ask them, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Is ha feeling happy a good feeling? If so, you allow them to place a positive sign on, next to the word, word. If they, for example, feel sad, you ask them, how does that feel? Think of a situation where you felt sad. Is that a good feeling, a bad feeling, or is that neutral? Most likely they'll say that that's a bad feeling. So first, allow your students to get very familiar with the type of words that help us to create the mood and tone. Next, you want to get your examples of poetry. In this poem, entitled Winter, by Russell Blair, Russell Blair is a fifth grader, and he wrote a poem on winter. Now, as I was reading this poem, I was able to determine um, Mr. Blair's mood and tone based on the type of words that he was using. For example, he compared winter to a fluffy cloud. Now what type of mood do you think he's creating here? He, he compared it to um, being soft as a pillow. He also said that this is in winter kids can play and kids can slay. It sounds like a very jovial, it sounds like a very playful mood, again creating the mood and tone. So it sounds like Mr. Russell Blair actually enjoys winter. So again, I can refer to my feelings chart and ask them, ask my students, how do you think the author is feeling? Sounds like he's excited that winter is near. My next example is actually a poem entitled Saying Goodbye by Ariel Armitage. Now, Miss Armitage here actually by titling it saying goodbye it makes me think, hmm, have you ever had a situation where you had to say goodbye? How did you feel about that? Were you excited or were you upset or sad? As I read through, I was able to pay attention to the tone that Ms. Armitage actually used. For example, she says, time is getting close. We have to part. I'll miss you soon. Look how the difference, look at the difference between the two tones and the moods that are being created here. Here she says, last words from my heart. Oh, aren't you heartbroken? This sounds like a very sad situation. We'll soon be in our past. Here she says, and I'll make it if I try. Some of the words that she's using helps me to determine that she truly is heartbroken. And that's not a good thing at all. She's heartbroken. So that means that she's creating a very sad mood. Again, my name is Lakia Brandenburg, and these were some examples of teaching mood and tone in poetry for fifth graders.